Hello guys and welcome to Advanced Text Formatting by WA Courses. In this video, we're going to be looking at how you can um, format text using um, the post editor. So we're going to be using Gutenberg for this tutorial and I'm going to show you how you can add in text and do things like bold, italize, superscript and subscript and everything that has to do with text. So with the introduction out of the way, let's get started with the video. So once you've navigated to the post editor um, over here I just copied in and pasted this um, random text so we're going to be using this text to experiment with the, um, the text formatting um, capability of uh, Gutenberg okay so uh, first off let's start by uh, learning how to use these different widgets here so I'm just going to try and bold this so I'm going to bold this so if, if you want to bold any form of text you just have to highlight it so I can highlight this now um, and I can highlight this just by dragging and if I click on bold it's gonna get give this a bold look okay so you can uh, bold anything you want using this I'm just gonna bold one more thing here okay so this just allows you to do bold so you can also do things like um, use shortcut key like um, control B so if you use control B it's just gonna get to this um, um uh, feature here directly so if you hover over uh any of these you're going to get the con the shortcut so for this i'm just i just need to press ctrl i so i'm just going to utilize this industry so i'll press ctrl i and it's going to automatically utilize this if i want to um reverse this undo this I, I just need to highlight it and click on this again so if i also click on this it's gonna um on both this so you can apply and reapply as uh, many times as you want okay so uh, let's just give a little bit of space over here okay all right let's give let's give some space here okay so I'm just gonna show you how alignment works also so if I highlight this and I want this to come over here to the right um, I just need to click on this text alignment button here so it's going to ask me where do I want to align this so by default every form of text is aligned back to the left so if I choose right it's going to take this to the right okay so you can write text at the right you can write text at the left you can write text at the center so it doesn't really matter um, what you're trying to achieve you can actually get any position you want from here okay so we also have some advanced stuff so if you click on this um, drop down you're gonna get some extra stuff here we're gonna I'm just gonna show you how they work so I will like this simply dummy and I'm gonna drop this down and click on strike through so strike through adds a line um, between the text so this is like saying this simply dummy is no longer part of our, um, the content uh, we can also do other things like <clears throat> subscript so if I do subscript it's gonna take this below the uh, the line so it's just like uh, in maths so you can do things like taking numbers below you can do things like taking numbers um, letters or numbers um, above so if I come over here and choose superscript it's gonna take this to the top of the line okay so you have those kind of capabilities here also um, let's see we also have uh, text color so if I want to change this standard here if I want to change the color of this I just need to come over here select text color and over here I can select a pre-made color if I click on custom color it gives me this color wheel so I could I can do anything like um, I could switch here and look for something like red or if I have the hash code I can just add that here and if you click on this is you can change to RGB so if you are more of a advanced user and you have a color code in HSL or RGB or in hex you can just click on this to change uh, between all that okay so I'm just going to leave this as red, come back here and as you can see in real time this has been changed to red, okay? So that's uh, based, that's how you um, edit text using um, uh, the, in the tools available in Gutenberg. For the classic editor, it's very similar. You get exactly the same kind of tools here. Just the layout is a little bit different, but they essentially work the same way. You also have things like inline image. So if you want to add an image in a line, you can just click on inline image and it's going to ask you to add an image. So we've not uploaded an image here. So I'm just going to um, skip that. So if you want to add an image in a line, 
just click on this inline image you can also add inline code so if you want to add like a custom code between lines you can do that with this okay so that's basically it for um, text editing with Gutenberg. It's very simple. You just highlight and select something that you want. So I hope you found this useful and I'll see you guys in the next video.